Hi people, welcome. Oh, it's really an immense pleasure meeting you all once again from Metro Directors and so far we are speaking about the Tesla machines which we have acquired the distributorship around the globe. So it is just a small theory class about how Tesla machines actually works. So as to give an introduction to this, I am going to add you the title as Tesla. Okay. So what are the factors Tesla is going to calculate? Say for example, I am considering Tesla 400 so that you will be able to understand it easily. So Tesla 400 comes up with 8 probes. Each probe has 1 meter distance. One is for receiver side and the other one is for uh, transmitter side. So how many data are we going to get collect from Tesla 400 is 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this is for channel 1. In channel 1 we were getting 12 data. So say for example the 12 data were 2 2.55, 1.55, 2.20, 1.40, 0.02, 3.05, 4.05 5.05 in the sense okay so how are we going to calculate the accurate point with this raw data so it is not possible first of all because the reason is you cannot consider simply say this value 0 0.02 is the lower resistance value so I am considering this you shouldn't be saying that it is wrong because Tesla works under layer mapping profile. Layer mapping in the sense changes in the formation of soil. Okay, the landslide formation changes is the system under which Tesla is built on. So all you have to consider is the values which gradually gets increased or gradually gets decreased. Say for example, in this particular scenario, 0.02 and 3.05 is a big difference change, which means the land formation is higher, the land formation changes is higher. So we can consider this point. This is for channel 1. And again, you are going to record the data for channel 2. It is also going to calculate those values. And in those values, the gradual changes you will be calculating. Okay. So based on these raw data, we are going to provide the final factor. You don't have to do any manual interpretation like this. The final factor will be processed by the machine itself because there are certain, certain factors where this 2.55 will be a noise data. You won't be aware about that. So that the machine will be calculating it as a noise data and it will reject that data. So the final factor is the main thing we have to concentrate on. The next one is about curve graph analysis. What is a curve graph analysis? I will give you a hint on that. How does it is? How does the machine is generating the curve graph? It is based on the resistance values. But here, the machine itself, they have given the x-axis and y-axis curve graph for deeper understanding. In that case, say for example, I am giving you a curve graph like this. This is a limit line. You can see it in the reports and also we have shared you the manual. You can see it in the manual as well. Limit line is the place where we can consider it as noise factor. Most probably it won't be a noise factor but we can consider it as a noise factor. So the next one is about the changes here. Say for example the resistance the land form it's just see it as a layer mapping uh, profile so that the land formation changes gradually this indistinct changes you shouldn't be considering the changes which is gradually increasing you can consider the formation change layer okay so you can consider this particular frequency say for example frequency number 33 okay Okay, so we have considered the final factor and then the curve graph. Next one is the contour mapping. How are we going to calculate it with contour mapping? Contour mapping is the layer mapping system where you are going to identify through color codings. 
okay the color codings are written in the report itself in the sidebar likewise dark red orange yellow green pale green okay so in such an order the color uh, codings were written where it is based on the resistance values so during that period say for example if you see some patches like dark red yellow green orange and everything then you have to consider the formation changed layer based on the gradual changes in the colors okay like if in case red is here orange patches are here green patches are here again red is here and there in case it is gradually getting decreased based on this resistance values so that you can consider this fault zone as a fracture zone so how are we going to calculate now we are going to calculate now with the final factor and then the curve graph and then contour mapping so three stages of analysis is done in tesla machine that is the reason it is giving us 95 percent accuracy because layer mapping is the system which is used by geologists once you start understanding this mapping system definitely you can call yourself as a geologist that is what all i have to say you people the next one is the porosity factor why is it given so porosity factor is given to identify the noise data if it is if the porosity factor is greater than 100 then it's a noise less than 100 then it's not an noise okay so this might be an consolidated fracture this might be an unconsolidated fracture so based on the geographical conditions of uh, the higher depth terrain regions tesla has been manufactured and such kind of layer mapping system will help you for a deeper understanding on geology that is the reason it is giving us 95 percent accuracy so it is just the, all about the subtopics of tesla machine i have given you people if you have any inquiries please do reach us at www.metrodetectors.com or else please reach us at our business whatsapp number 9043893646 we are readily available to help you people if you have any queries related to borehole drilling or casing or borewell scanning cameras or agricultural drones we are here to help you thank you so much for your continued support uh, we are uh, you know overwhelmed by your response and thank you guys stay in touch thank you